What's going on guys? Hit pause here with a quick tip. Uh, I know my quick tip videos don't really do very well. Uh, nobody seems to be all that interested in them, but I'm going to keep doing them because I think that some people may benefit from them, even if it's just one or two of you guys. Uh, in this case, I have actually been tasked with uh, unwrapping this uh, tube here, which was obviously generated from a spline, but unfortunately, the original doesn't have any UV coordinates, so as you can see, the way the checker lays on it, it's really, really difficult to work with. Now, we can attempt to do like a peel on the whole thing, but really what's going to be the best is to remodel this spline um, virtually identically as uh, the, the way it originally was. So that's what we're going to do, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's actually not too difficult, but it is a little bit tricky. Um, so what we're going to do is we need to basically split it down its middle, okay? So trying to find opposite edges, so it's double click them, okay, and I hold, held control there. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to cut this guy in half, okay, like so. And it's going to be a little bit difficult to do this, but what we want to do is we want to essentially hit split, okay? Now that's going to cut those, and we can cut the tips off here because we don't need that. So we're going to delete the end polygons, okay, like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to go by element and we're going to delete half of it. So we're ending up here with just half the spline. And now what we want to do is we want to take both of these, like so, again double clicking them, and then we hit bridge. And what that's actually going to do is give us a bunch of segments right down the middle. And the sweet thing is now if we get the ring, by to get a ring, you click one edge and then you shift click a parallel edge. It doesn't have to be parallel, but an adjacent edge, not one that is connected off the tip. Okay, and then we hit connect. Now with that spline selected, we hit create shape from selection and we want it to be linear because it's already tessellated. And we just hit OK. And then what we can do is we can select the spline, go to rendering, enable it in the viewport, increase the thickness to match. Okay, and essentially we have the exact same thing as we did before. However, we can now check off generate mapping coordinates and when we unwrap this guy, let's isolate this, this one down now. And you can see already that the UVs are now following the form of the spline. So, when, like I said, when we hit open UV editor, we should see this as being straight. Now, the last thing we ever want to do is hit this button because it's going to basically screw up everything. All we really need to do is stretch it until we get checkers. And that's it. Hopefully you guys uh, can benefit from this. It is super handy and you can pack it down if you need to. And now you can throw any tiling texture on here that you want and it will tile along the length and follow the form of the spline. So this is Hip Pause signing off. Thanks for watching.